Hi friends, I am Amaresh. Today I am going to uh, speak about Kaiser Compressor. So Kaiser is a leading manufacturer of compressed air system made in Germany with low life cycle costs and reliable availability. Explore its range of products. And uh, uh, so today I will discuss uh, about these controllers and even uh, this Kaiser model also like BS51. CS91, DSD241, T, SK19. So in this, the first letter, whatever it is like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and H. This is the frame size, starting at A and getting larger all the way up, up to H being the largest machine. Then we have a S. This is indicates it's a small machine, smaller than the A frame size. For example. SX and SM these are all the uh, uh, this model is the smaller model so S yes, model from 2.2 kilowatt to 15 kilowatt and like that ASD or ASK 15 kilowatt to 30 kilowatt and BSD 30 kilowatt to 45 kilowatt okay like that uh, up to H is there and uh, this is um, push controller push button controller this is found on the oldest machine and is a basic control system the machine has three buttons on start uh, that is green to start the machine off stop button red to stop the machine and reset red to reset fault before restarting the machine so if a fault occurs the machine will stop and the red light will illuminate on the reset button this can only be reset once the fault has been <coughs> cleared these machines have electrically controlled oil stop valves located in the oil cooler along with an oil non-return valve on the side of the air end element okay they also have the old inlet valve the working cylinder this is a pneumatic cylinder that opens a butterfly valve to allow air into the inlet so uh, next is uh, Kaiser control this is the uh, next generation of machine fitted with the Kaiser control the machine is started and stopped with a rotary toggle switch the Kaiser controller shows basic warnings and fault to add in problem solving. The Kaiser controller comes in 4 light and 8 light dependent on the size of the machine. The more lights, the more indications of warning or faults. These machines have the new style inlet valve, the suction box, <coughs> they low they no longer have the electrically controlled oil stop valve located on the oil cooler or the oil non-return valve on the side of the air and element okay so next this uh, Kaiser control uh, one is the green light emitting diode one is illuminated if the compressor unit is running or ready for operation diode one extinguish extinguished if a fault is occur if a fault is detected by the controller it will shown down the compressor unit immediately shut down the compressor unit immediately accompanied by an appropriate alarm indication second overload trip of the compressor motor shut down with the excess motor current when the fault is removed press the overload trip reset button okay third one is the remote contact thermometer for detection of excess discharge temperature the compressor unit is shut down if discharge temperature of 100 degree is reached okay <coughs> so here you can just check right side that temperature uh, indication Four one, fourth one is uh, shut down the compressor unit if the drive belt slip of the pulley or brake and at incorrect direction of rotation 
ओके दिस मोटर सिंबल इज देयर ना बॉटम ऑफ दिस सेकंड वन दैट इज फॉर दैट This is the Kaiser controller details. Next, we uh, Sigma basic control. Uh, we'll speak Sigma basic control. In this, uh, uh, its basic controller display. Twelve display field layout is there. Line one, line two, line three, line four, like that. So uh, line one. Current system pressure in bar and PSI or MPA it will show. Line two is the current air and discharge temperature uh, in degree or Fahrenheit whatever. Okay. Next third one is the parameter display and settings. Fourth one is alarm and warning messages. We can check in fourth line. Sigma basic controller uh, display will get. Operating counter display the period in which the motor switched on. This uh, zero and uh, next uh, that uh, <coughs> four table uh, is there in this display. All the indication, uh, whatever will get in the display like indication that we can. Able to reset as per parameters. So next one is Sigma basic controller is over. Now this is the Sigma control. Sigma control. He here on key, off key, timer on off key, remote on key, load load idle key, menu scroll down up and escape key, return key, info event. Acknowledge reset key. All the uh, buttons we can see. Uh, check here. So in this uh, setting the long ways. Uh, select long ways. Press and hold to add up mark. And uh, entering the password. Resetting service hours. All the things we will get in this uh, Sigma controller. Uh, setting the parameters as per this uh, 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 parameters we can able to set with password so next one is sigma controller 2 this uh, the sigma 2 controller has only been released in the last few years it uses a rfid card located in the electrical compartment cable Tied to the back of the controller of the compressor to enter the password. So to access this controller display, we need this RFID card. Uh, for this, if we have that RFID card, then only we can able to uh, set the pressure and uh, check the, uh, and uh, reset this service indication, service hours, all those this thing. We can able we can able to access this display with RFID card if you don't have RFID card then we can't do anything in this okay so next uh, <coughs> so this is the very smart uh, controller display uh, here uh, we have about this display some more information uh, like in this uh, controller So in this controller, uh, Sigma Control 2, it is a local intelligence and Sigma Air Manager, Central Intelligence Controller ensure efficient, efficient interplay between all components in your compressed air system. This is where you can achieve the biggest energy savings. The capabilities of an intelligent computer are needed to perform such as a complex task so b before i told you this uh, small compressor uh, like sx and sm model 
this is sm model for your uh, reference just i am showing this sm model and next one is the higher model dsg240 dsg in the sense d is the frame size s is the uh, sigma and d is the direct driven 240 is the capacity of the compressor like uh, flow of the compressor in this case uh, uh, for this uh, to check the cfm and uh, cfm we, we need to calculate like uh, uh, for, uh, 240 divided by uh, for example next uh, come the numbers the relates to the amount of compressed air the machine can make at 7.5 bar to get the free air delivery of machine you divide the number by 10 like for 240 divided by 10 then we'll get equal to meter cube per minute okay so these are five types of controller uh, controllers in the Kaiser compressors and uh, so uh, now uh, the sigma controller also um, like modified let i need to check that because uh, this much only uh, i know about the controllers and all those things uh, see that is the push con uh, push button controller like there only on and off button is there so we can to start the uh, compressor there is a green button so if you press green button it will start and off uh, stop the machine uh, red button uh, it will stop see this is the bs61 compressor which uh, which is installed in uh, sigma control sigma control uh, like we will get all the details pressure temperature it's like a uh, analog controller we uh, don't have any iconic display and like this all the things we can able to check on the uh, controller like pressure temperature and uh, emergency switch also is there this uh, uh, picture i put it for your reference for the sigma controller thanks for watching my video uh, subscribe and like me thank you